Hey, what is going on everybody? Luke here, making his glorious return to reviews with Moon Knight No. 1, the new series from Jeff Lemire that seeks to answer the burning question that's been prevailing on all Marvel fans' minds. Who is Mark Spector? Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to find out for ourselves. So more than anything, this first issue really seeks to ask some burning questions. It even brings up some other questions that have never been brought up before about Mark's mentality. The biggest one being, is Moon Knight real? Were Mark's escapades real? Did any of that happen? Was he ever the Fist of Khonshu? Did he ever come back to life? The entirety of this issue is really sort of him trying to piece this together as he's going through a mental facility. This question just gets stretched deeper and deeper as Mark endures a bunch of different things in this insane asylum, like shock therapy, being beaten up by the orderlies, these enlightening therapy sessions, some strange psychedelic visions with Khonshu, and even seeing old faces from his past being other people living in this insane asylum. It's really sort of this buildup that causes Mark to really question who he is and it really kind of starts fracturing his psyche. The biggest problem though going into this is that the dialogue is left to be desired at times. Um, for instance, the orderlies that I mentioned earlier, I like to call them Tweedledee and Tweedledum because that's pretty much how they talk. They just say each other's names back and forth and maybe this adds to the dream aspect of it, but mm, I'm not really feeling them. There's actually a specific thing that Mark says, nighty night or it's night night, but he spells it with a K, and you would think that this is something that would be cool when it's brought back again later, and it's not. It's 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 kind of lame. <laughs> it's uh it really hurts me to say that because it's a cool scene when it happens, but this the whole setup of it's pretty lame. I think the other thing too is that the pacing of this book is really off. Like it almost feels like this is three issues worth of stuff happening. Um, my this is probably a problem on my fault. I was expecting like really subtle kind of questioning about the two realities, whether this is dream or fiction. And right off the gate, like both sides are kind of like so big that there's like almost no room for debate on one end or the other. It's just it, it's very disorienting, it's very jarring, because when Mark kind of puts on the bedsheet and he sees everyone as creatures of Seth, the um, other, the rival Egyptian god of Khonshu, and then he sees all of New York as kind of like this big Egyptian landscape, and then when it's taken off, it's not that. It's supposed to make you really question if Mark is right, if he really is Moon Knight, but it, it, it just feels so big and so like a, such a grand scheme kind of image that it just it doesn't really make me question it it makes me more confused because it seems obvious it just makes each time something else comes up seem obvious if that makes sense it's just a bit jarring in terms of how it wants to present itself everything taken into account though moon knight number one i'll probably give it a seven out of ten i really do like this first issue it's just i think my big problem is it wasn't what i was expecting and i was kind of expecting a little bit more in terms of dialogue and just the pacing of the book i thought it was going to be like a slow burn to an eventual reveal of whether moon knight is real or not but I mean, you can only deal with what you're given, and I can only really hope that the series gets better as it goes forward for me. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up my review. Thank you so much for listening. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like this review, really helps us out. Go ahead and give us a subscribe if you want to check out some of our other reviews or see some of our content as it comes out. Thanks for listening again, and have a good day guys. Peace!